he is going to take you to a high social status. He is going to make your name great. Hello, dear, my beautiful people. Welcome. I welcome you all back to the channel. This is your girl, Sherry Ann. For those of you who are tuning in to this channel for the very, very first time, I welcome you to the channel. And I also welcome you to be a part of this family. Guys, today I have a beautiful word. This word is such a beautiful word. And I know that it is for many of his children, those that have been chosen, the remnant that has been chosen by the Lord. God wants to speak to you today. And he sent me here with a message for you. He sent me here with a message for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So just three days ago, this is what happened to me. I was asleep and the spirit of the Lord woke me and I heard S-I-R-E sire sire and so i i did not know i got up i wrote these letters out because you know i knew that if i didn't write it out in the morning when i awake i would forget and so immediately i got up i reached for my phone and i put these letters in that the spirit of the lord gave me and so when i got up i began to research the word and so when I looked up the meaning of the word, because I, guys, I have never heard this word before. And it said, uh, when I researched the word, it said, a title of address formerly used for a man of rank and authority. Another meaning um, I got was a respectful form of address for someone of high social status, especially a king. Ha, hallelujah hallelujah what God is saying through this word is that he have appointed you and he is about to take you to a higher rank you have that authority God have given you that authority he have appointed you and anointed you with all that you need for this time and he is about to take you higher child of god you know there's going to be a shift god is replacing god is moving and he is putting his new remnant in place in this time and god is saying to you that i have selected you i have chosen you and he is going to take you to a high social status he is going to make your name great in the mighty name of jesus it doesn't matter which background you have came from it doesn't matter who you are God looks at the heart. Men looks at the outer appearance, but God looks at the heart. So as I spoke to the Lord and asked him for further revelation on this word, the Lord took me to the book of Samuel, 1 Samuel chapter 16. And I don't know if you have read this story, but I encourage each and every one of you to read this. It says, the Lord asked Samuel, how long are you going to mourn for Saul now that I have rejected him as king of Israel? He said, fill a flask with olive oil and go. I am sending you to Jesse in Bethlehem because I have selected one of his sons to be king. Hallelujah. So what God is saying is that he has selected you. He have appointed and selected you to lead his remnant to be a blessing to this generation. God have called you and selected you in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, how can I go? Samuel asks, when Saul hear about this, he will kill me. So everyone thought that Saul would have been king and selected as king by the Lord. But God had a plan. God had selected and wanted David to be anointed to be king, to be the ruler over Israel. Hallelujah. And so it goes on to say that the Lord said, you know, I will reveal to you. He was speaking to Solomon. I will reveal to you what you should do and you will anoint for me the one I point out to you. Hallelujah. It further goes on to say that Samuel, um, when he arrived, he saw Eli and thought, certainly here is the Lord's presence. So Samuel thought that Eli was going to be selected as king. Um, and so God had a different plan. 
And so it says um, further on in verses 7, don't look at his appearance of how tall he is because I have rejected him. God have rejected Eli as well. And so it says that a human looks at the outer appearance, but God looks at the heart. Child of God, you have been selected because you have a beautiful spirit. You have a beautiful heart. And God wants to use you in this time for his glory. It doesn't matter what persons around you thought. They did not see your value. And so God, all, all these people around you did not see what God had placed and put within you. But God is raising up a generation. God is raising up a remnant for his kingdom in this time and God have selected you. You are one of his chosen one to be used in this time. And God says that you are going to be of in a high ranking position, a place of authority, a place of high ranking in the mighty name of Jesus. It goes on to say that Samuel told Jesse to send someone to get him, meaning to get David. It says that he would not continue until he gets here. Everything will be stopped and put on pause till David got to that place in the mighty name of Jesus. So God is saying that he has prepared you and he is waiting on you. Child of God, God is saying that he is waiting on you um, so that he can move in this time in the mighty name of Jesus. It goes on to say that the Lord said, you know, go ahead and anoint him. He is the one. So Samuel did this with the flask he had with olive oil. He anointed David in the presence of his brothers. Hallelujah. God is going to appoint you and anoint you in front of all those persons that spoke bad about you. All those persons that didn't see the value that you had. God is about to use you and he is about to show you up in the mighty name of Jesus. God is about to show up and show you off in this time in the name of Jesus. He is going to put you in prominent positions, in positions of rank and authority in the mighty name of Jesus. It goes on to say that the spirit of the Lord came over David and stayed with him from that day. The spirit of the Lord is upon you, child of God. The spirit of the Lord is with you. Wherever you go, the spirit of the Lord will be. He have appointed you. He have anointed you. He have given you an anointing for his glory to be used in the mighty name of Jesus. And he is saying to rise up for the Lord is waiting on you to move in the mighty name of Jesus. So guys, that is a word, a beautiful word. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for this beautiful word. We seal it today in the mighty name of Jesus. We seal it with your precious blood and we decree and declare it done today over the lives of your children. May they rise up. May they take um, their territory. May they take what is theirs in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything that you have given to them for this time, you have equipped them. And so, Father, we decree and declare that it shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare that your children are equipped and ready in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree and declare that your chosen remnant is ready in the mighty name of Jesus. We activate every gift, every gift that you have place upon them. We activate the anointing in their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. And we decree and declare it done today in Jesus' mighty name. So guys, that is the word, child of God. Go. God have appointed you and anointed you for such a time as this. So receive it in the name of Jesus. Guys, that is it. I thank you all for tuning in. I love you guys. Stay blessed. Stay tuned. And until my next one, I'll see you guys then. Bye.